Hey guys, welcome back to the next exciting. I don't have any fucking mail. Welcome back to the next in exciting installment of Let's Play Animal Crossing. So last time we were about to go uh, break this chicken's kneecaps for giving me a horrible gift. So and there she is. Oh, you're hungry. Oh, you're in a hurry. Hit on me. Why would I hit on a chicken? Popular with boys and girls. Oh, we got a dyke. What I meant to say was a bisexual. Bought this super cute outfit as a gift for my friend Patty. Oh, how cute. Sure, let me just, you know, bring these disgusting clothes that aren't even packaged and just give them to, you know, be a little prison bitch and, you know, run on over to... Get out of my way. Ah... <sighs> Yeah, so Tom Nook told me to uh, wait a little while before I came back to the shop because he was busy doing... Oh, I'm going to start a new game. Anyway, he was busy getting the next package for me ready because, you know, Lord knows I want his package. And uh, so he decided to let me just go roam the, roam the wonderful world of poop and find something for me to do on my own. Where does Patty live? Where she is. There's my ball. We're gonna bring this as a gift to Patty. She better like her new clothes. I don't know about you guys, but I wouldn't really want someone bringing me my clothes that someone else bought for me. That's just me. Eh, just take these dang clothes. I don't want them. Oh, so she expected this. Oh god, she changed right in front of me. Gross. Oh, cool give you one of my old outfits. That's disgusting. You're a girl. The hell am I going to do with that? What did you even give me? Citrus shirt? I look like a woman. That's ridiculous. I don't want that. I'm going to stick with my work uniform. You don't get this ball now. That was a terrible reward. My ball now. So, I, I feel like I should talk to the viewers more as a whole, you know, about the game that I'm playing and not just be a total, you know, a-hole to everything in it. Um, so I guess this game is about moving, like, on your own and just, uh, I don't know, getting your own place and paying off Tom Nook. Who borrows a glasses case? Anyway. Um, so you, you pay off Tom Nook, and then once you pay him off that astounding amount of $19,000, he's gonna, he's gonna upgrade your house for you, and then he's, he's gonna keep doing that until you've achieved, like, the maximum sized house, and then, oh, Teddy lives the other way, and then, um, I don't know, I, like, I don't foresee an actual ending to this game. Like, I don't think there's ever a point in time where the credits roll and they're like, Congratulations, you beat Animal Crossing. So, I don't know, I, I guess, um, I guess this Let's Play is just gonna go up until I get the maximum sized house, which I can see it's gonna be a long and boring journey. I mean, I, I don't even know how much that costs, but, oh, the mayor's still hanging out down here. But there's a bunch of other aspects of the game too. Um, I mean, obviously, I don't have anything right now, but you can uh, you can fish, you can catch butterflies. Um, well, not just butterflies, but all sorts of insects. Uh, you can fill up the museum that we saw in, I believe, the first episode, and you can fill that up with fish and insects. And I'm not sure if you get any rewards for that, but. I also found out about this cool thing. There's, uh, let me see if I can find one really quick. Um, oh, here it is. These little stars on the ground here, if you get a shovel and you dig those up, um, sometimes they'll have, uh, I don't know, sometimes they'll have furniture, sometimes they'll have uh, gyroids, those little dudes that hang out in front of your house, and sometimes they'll have fossils. And if you give the fossils to the museum, then 
you get rewarded for that as well. So, I mean, there's a ton of things you can do in this game. I mean, apart from really, you know, like, doing all these favors for this chicken. I don't know, she gives me different things every now and again. And now she's giving me paper, that's not going to do me any good. But, I mean, here, we'll go back to the house. I mean, as you can, as you could tell from when she gave me the concrete wallpaper, uh... As you do more favors, they'll give you more furniture and stuff to furnish your house with. And there's always Tom Nook's shop to buy stuff that's in there. Oh, and his shop, his shop will actually upgrade too. Like, as your house upgrades, his shop will upgrade. So, I mean, he'll have more, uh, more items to sell you. And, I, you know, maybe they'll get more exotic as we go up in, in rank. I mean, I'm not 100% sure on that, but... Yeah, other than that, I I feel like I've gone over all I know about this game. Oh, there's, um, it goes by, the reason the, the reason the cat in the beginning of the game asked me for the time was not just to make idle chit-chat, because, you know, cats just walk up to strange people and ask for the time, but he also was checking to see the date, mainly because this game goes by real time, and as you can see right now, it's 2.42 on a bright Tuesday. It's hot as hell outside. And, uh, you know, there's events that go along with the game just as they do in real life. I mean, I guess Christmas is a thing in this game and Halloween. And there's other days where you just gather around at the wishing well over here. And you, you do whatever's with the mayor's of poop. And it's a grand old time. Like, everybody, everybody loves it. I guess that's Animal Crossing has a little more to it than you know I've I've cracked it up to be. So anyway, I'm gonna go talk to Pudge and get a Game Boy. <sighs> he gave it away. Oh well, who are we doing this favor for? Rhoda. And Oxford apparently has it, so that'll just make our journey that much shorter. always go that way. I don't know why. Oh, and I figured out that, uh, sorry, I keep forgetting to say things. The town that you live in, it actually varies. I don't know what factors control it. I'm assuming it's all random, but this layout isn't what your house is, or what your town is going to look like every time. So if you're playing this game too, then obviously Patty, Pudge, Teddy, Rhoda, and Oxford, you know, they might not live in your town, but they might. I don't know. I guess there's a humongous list of characters that can live in your towns. It's pretty cool, I guess. And here's Oxford. Oh, I actually, I accidentally hit like, exit. Oh, I have too much stuff on me. I love how he just knows that. Like, yeah, you're carrying too much to begin with, so come back when there's a little less stuff in your pockets. <laughs> I wonder if the bank is like, oh, you have too much money, you can't, you can't keep that here. Cause that suck. Cause I'm gonna be rolling in the deep. You know, once we get up there, once we get a promotion at Tom Nook's. Talk too much. I'm trying to help you out and give you this Game Boy. Yeah, man. Got Game Boy for you and everything. Oh, look. See? She's giving me furniture. That's the way I like it. I do you a favor. You give me something from your house. Just like... Wouldn't that be great? Someone's like, hey, can you run to the store for me and grab, like, you know, a gallon of milk? And I'm like, sure. Can I have your couch? And they're like, yeah, if you go give me that milk... Oh, that'd be fantastic. What did she even give me? A blue clock. And there it is. I'm gonna leave it like this so I can tell everybody I have that time machine from Doctor Who.
Rhoda, give us more things to do. What? She lent her Game Boy again? Holy crap! Okay, either this lady has more than one Game Boy, or she lends it out freely. And then she gets mad that they don't bring it back right away. It's like, wait a minute, I just went and got it from Oxford, and now you're mad because Patty hasn't brought it back. That doesn't make sense. Oh, goodness. We're almost at the 11 minute mark. Alright, we'll just get this from Patty. She doesn't have it. SCUMBAG!